Hola a todos, bienvenidos a mi canal Hello You. Hoy vamos a estudiar un reading para aprender inglés. The most amazing structure on earth. La estructura más maravillosa en la tierra. Lo perfecto de esta página es que puedes escuchar la pronunciación de un nativo hablante y mejorar tu pronunciación así como aprender palabras nuevas. Let's start. The most amazing structure on earth. There are people who say the most amazing structure on earth is the human brain. It is so complex that it took about 700 million years to develop. Humans started out as worm-like creatures that used one end of the body to move forward. Ever so slowly, a bunch of nerves began developing at that one end, the head. These nerves help the creature to sense light, food, and danger. Eventually, this bunch of nerves became the creature's brain. To carry messages from the brain to other parts of the body, the creature grew a spinal cord. Later, the creature became a fish with eyes, ears, and a nose that could send the brain information about sights, sounds, and smells. More time passed and the fish grew arms and legs so it could move about on land. From this it needed a larger and more complex brain. It became an ape-like creature and the parts of the brain used for seeing images and being social grew much stronger. Finally the ape-like creature became human, with a brain that was capable of reason, emotion, creativity, memory, and the ability to judge right from wrong. The human brain is very mysterious. Many questions about the brain have not yet been answered. For example, why do we need to sleep or why do we dream? There is a lot about the brain that we do not yet understand. Believe it or not, people used to think of the brain as useless stuffing. Of course, we now know the brain is our control center. The surface of the brain is called the cerebral cortex. It is the part of the brain that makes us intelligent and it consists of four parts called lobes. The front lobe is where much of our thinking and feeling happens. The top lobe processes information which is coming from parts of our bodies, such as our skin and muscles. The side lobe plays an important role in hearing, speech and long-term memories, while the back lobe processes images from our eyes. Which do you think is more powerful, your brain or a supercomputer? You might be surprised to learn that the world's best supercomputer is only about as powerful as half a mouse brain. Your brain is packed with 100 billion brain cells called neurons. They send information to your body telling it what to do. And they receive information from each of your senses, what you see, feel, taste, hear, and touch. All of this information travels to and from parts of your body along your spinal cord, which is like a highway found down the center of your back. As the information travels from neuron to neuron, pathways are created. When you think about or practice something again and again, those pathways get stronger. That's how the brain learns and remembers. Actually, you were born with most of the neurons you have now, but when you were a baby, you didn't have many pathways to connect them. As an adult, you now have more than 125 trillion connections between your neurons. No computer on earth can compete with the speed of your brain and how much information it can hold. Excellent. Ahora puedes probar qué tanto entendiste sobre este reading. Si algo no entendiste, puedes escucharlo las veces que quieras. Además, puedes buscar el significado de algunas palabras que te resulten nuevas. Aquí tenemos un cuestionario en el que tenemos que elegir cuál es la respuesta correcta. A, B o C. Number 1. The top of the cerebral cortex. What is the correct answer? A, B or C? Una vez que lo hayan reflexionado y comparado con su lectura, the correct answer is A. 
processed things that people touch. Number two. As used in this reading, the words useless stuffing refer to useless stuffing the correct answer is yes C an important material number three the brain's neurons use the spinal cord like a Yes, the correct answer is highway. What is the main idea of the third paragraph? Yes, the correct answer is C. The cerebral cortex, which has four parts, make us intelligent. Number five, adult humans have mm, connections between neurons. The correct answer is yes, C, 125 trillion. Number six, a mouse brain is The correct answer is B, about twice as strong as the world's best supercomputer. Number 7. People who injure the side lobe of the cerebral cortex. The correct answer is Yes, letter C may have trouble remembering things. Number 8. The cerebral cortex consists of mm, Yes, letter B. Four parts called lobes. Finally, we have number 9. What is the main idea of the last paragraph? Yes, letter A. The brain's neurons send and receive information throughout the body faster than any computer. Recuerden que para hacer un buen reading, hay muchas técnicas que pueden utilizar. Una de ellas es primero leer el texto, luego ir a las preguntas. Por lo contrario, hay personas que prefieren leer las preguntas, luego ir al texto, buscando la respuesta correcta. Descubre cuál es la mejor técnica para ti y ponla en práctica. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like, bye, take care, have a nice day.